Hello, everybody. It's me again, Jacqueline. And I am just uh, checking in. After all, this is my YouTube channel, right? And um, I guess I should keep you all informed of what's going on with me since it is my YouTube channel. So let me just give you an idea of what's going on. I have a meeting coming up and let's see, what time is it? Uh, about an hour with Dr. Karen Maxfield Lunken. She's a friend of mine. I traveled to Ghana with her and uh, now she approached me about a month and a half ago and told me she is uh, getting some authors together to collaborate on a book about our moms. And um, she asked me to participate in the book as an author. And what I told her is, uh, Dr. Karen, this is not a good time for me because I'm not even talking to my mom right now. Yes, everybody, I'm not talking to my mom. You know, at 60, I decided that my latter half is going to be greater than my first half. And so if that means that I have to put everybody aside who I really don't feel the love from, um, then that's what I have to do because my latter half, I'm determined it's going to be about me and it's going to be about my happiness and my joy. And so um, with my mom and other people in my life, family members, I started this journey hurt. I started this journey, uh, this YouTube channel hurt and in a place where I just needed healing. And the person who I love most on this earth and I've always loved so deeply and have yearned for her love like an obsessed fool has been my mom. Uh, but what I'm getting back from her and what I've gotten back from her is a confusing type of love. And the only reason why I say it's love is because God had to tell me it was love. Had God not told me that that, that I'm feeling is love, ain't no way in the world, ain't no way I would believe it. And the only reason why I'm believing it now is for two reasons. Number one, because God said it and God don't lie. And number two, sometimes things are not as though they are really going to be. So I'm really believing that, okay, it is love in the spirit, but the flesh hasn't quite gotten there yet because I can't feel it. Because the Bible tells me love does no harm. And, and for years and years and years, I have been experiencing a very hurtful type of love and so I'm praying and believing that this love that my mom has for me is going to one day look like love to me and it's going to one day feel like love to me. Right now, that's not the case, but I'm trusting in God because he said it's love. So I told Dr. Karen, I would write the story, but I said, I'm going to tell my truth. She said, oh, that's fine. And then later I heard and I learned that the book was a book of healing. Okay, so somebody was going to do some healing and I was going to heal, but I wasn't planning on fixing the relationship to heal or going through anything to heal. I was just going to write it and air, air all my grievances and that's how I was going to heal. Uh, but... Dr. Karen took it a step further, and I'm actually healing, which is a wonderful thing. And for a while there, I thought my relationship with my mom was going to heal through it also. But um, without communication, that can't happen. Not for me. So right now, I have talked to my mom through this project, and uh, she seems to be kind of on board um, but we don't talk about our relationship because my mom is not a communicator and we just don't talk about our relationship. 
so it's just left where it is and I'm going to be all right. You know, I am, I'm fine. I'm fine with that. But I wanted you all to know that I'm in the process of writing this book and it's, it's taken me on a kind of a hurtful journey, but through it, I'm healing and, um, I'm going to be honest in this book. Um, but Dr. Karen wants me to talk about my wonderful mom and my beautiful mom. And she is all those things. However, we don't have a good relationship. So it's going to be, uh, you know, it's going to be kind of hard to write a one, bunch of wonderful, beautiful things about a person who you're not really in a good relationship with. But I'm going to get through it with prayer. And so far, God is doing it, and he's going to continue doing it. So uh, this book, we haven't quite gotten the name for it, but it's something about stories about our mamas, and we're supposed to be honoring our mamas. How dare Dr. Karen ask me to honor my mom and heal at a time where I'm hurting. But guess what? God is able, and he's going to fix some things through this. But I just thought I'd share with you all before I get on this call with Dr. Karen, uh, because we're going to kind of go over my story today, and I got to show her how I'm healing through my hurt and uh, how I have to honor my mom through it all. So wish me well, people, because you know me, I speak my truth. But I got to speak it while honoring her. So we'll see how that works out. Uh, love you all. Uh, pray for me, please. Okay, because I, I need some help with this one. Okay, thank you all so much. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. So, uh, you will be notified of when I post another video, okay? You do want to follow my journey, don't you? Good. Thank you. Bye.